So today we are going to learn about how tensile specimen, specimen fails for both brittle and ductile material based on Mohr circle. So first of all, the tensile specimen is a dumbbell specimen which looks like this. The tensile test is uh, conducted on universal test, uh, testing machine where you apply force on one of the side and you fix it on other side. So here force is applied or pressure is applied on both the side. So failure might be occurring at the side. So how that failure occurs for brittle and ductile metal that we are going to see. The state of stress for uh, this tensile test is like this. So this is our sigma x that is acting, that is this sigma, that is this pressure, sigma x that is acting on. There is no uh, stress at y uh, plane, x plane and there are no tensile uh, shear stress specimen, shear stress acting on the system. Okay. So the more circle of this tensile test specimen will be. So uh, x axis will be sigma, y axis will be shear. Okay. If I consider sigma x that is acting on the system is here, so that uh, this distance is sigma x. Okay. There is no sh y axis, so uh, there is no sh uh, stress in that y plane. So th that will be zero. So here sigma y will be there. This is sigma x. There is no uh, shear stress. That's why that both the points will be here. So our Mohr circle will be simply a circle from 0 to sigma x like this. Now first of all what we need to do is here is we need to find out which is our plane. So this is our x plane means yz plane okay which is our y axis. And this is our y plane. Okay, so on x plane, there is sigma x is acting and tau x y is acting. So here tau x y is zero. That's why our value of tau x y is zero and sigma x is acting here. So from this axis, this center point to this axis is our x plane. That is our y axis. And from this point to this point is our y plane. That is our x axis. So the angle between x and y axis are 180 degree. Here angle between x and y axis are 90 degrees. Okay. So in reality angle in more circle are double. That is true. That is the fact. Okay. So here what we need to find out is where the principal plane are, planes are acting and where the maximum shear stress is acting. So here this is our maximum tau max. Now if you consider uh, ductile material, so ductile material always fails due to, ductile material always fails due to maximum shear stress, maximum shear stress and fails in maximum shear stress plane okay so for ductile material where maximum shear stress plane is acting here this is our x plane this is our y axis so from y axis if i draw uh, x and y axis like this so this is our x axis this is y y axis now if i draw our y axis from y axis it is acting at an angle of so from y axis it is acting at an angle of 90 degree clockwise direction. So from y axis it is acting in anti clockwise direction 90 degrees. So in reality it should be acting uh, 45 degree in because in reality the angle will be 45 degree in real. So it will be acting 45 degree at an angle of 45 degree at an angle of uh, from the y axis. So here we will draw a 45 degree line. So this will fail from center like this. Okay. So, play, uh, so maximum shear stress will be acting 
tangential to this plane so maximum tau max will be acting like this similarly there will be another tau max plane which is 180 degree to the tau max other tau max plane in reality that will be 90 degree so if i draw a angle 90 degrees to this shear stress plane another shear stress will be acting there so that is tau max so this these are the two planes that are maximum shear stress plane acting on this system that's why for ductile material the material uh, the uh, tensile test specimen will fail like this and here you will get a cup cone shape why we are getting cup cone shape is because at the end of the failure test this ductility of the material will vanish and this material again will become a brittle material so that's why here we'll get a brittle failure at the end so that's why here you'll we'll get a cup cone shape like this like this kind of shape okay so this is for ductile material hmm? now similarly if you go for the brittle material if you go for the brittle material brittle material brittle material always fails due to uh, principal stress maximum principal plane okay brittle material fails in maximum principal plane so here maximum principal plane is acting at a y axis because this is our y, uh, x plane and this is our y axis so our maximum plane is acting like this so it will aut automatically will fail perpendicular to your cross section so the material uh, in brittle material this is the maximum principal plane where sigma 1 is acting so this material tensile stress specimen for brittle material will always fail like this so if you have a cast iron kind of material which is bit brittle material or if you take a chalk and if you just pull it it will fail like this perpendicular to your cross section uh, but instead of that if you take any ductile material like plastic or uh, uh, ductile material like steel uh, it will fail in a cup and cone shape this is